Hello everyone, my name is Annette, and you might know me on social media as Netters Plays. And today we're all talking about Ginkopolis. It's a one to five player game. I wanted to talk to you specifically about the solitaire version of Ginkopolis. I wanted to go ahead and explain to you pretty much how it's set up and how it's played. First, you're going to set it up as if you're playing with someone else, because you pretty much are. You're playing against a virtual player named Hal. You set it up like a two-player game, except you're not going to have any character cards and you're not going to have any new hand tokens. So you're pretty much going to be dealing with the hand of cards that you're always dealt. Another thing, since you don't have those character cards to kind of help you start the game, you're always going to start off with six resources, tiles, and success points. Now, throughout the game, instead of drafting like with higher player counts, you're going to eliminate all of that. Instead, you're going to be th drawing three cards and you're going to draw an extra card for Hal, along with a tile for Hal. And on your turn, you're going to decide what to do with your card, since you always go first. So on your turn, you may decide to pick up some tiles, some resources, or you might decide to expand and urbanize, or build and construct. Now Hal is only going to have two options. So Hal is either going to urbanize or construct with the card and the tile they are given. So the game is going to go ahead and move a little bit faster than usual, simply because Hal is always building and constructing. There's more and more space on the board to do more things. Also, there's going to be more cards being pulled, so it has a really nice flow with the solitaire version. It doesn't make it any easier either. The hard thing about this game is you're trying to manage when you're going to pick up your resources, and also you're going to have to try to figure out how to manage the cards that you're taking in because you need to build a fast and quick and efficient engine before Hal constructs the whole town of Ginkopolis and contains all of the districts. So you have to be as efficient as possible. That's something I really learned throughout this game. So the game can end in one of three different ways. It can end either when the tiles are exhausted or any of the resources are exhausted from either you or from Hal. Once that's done, then you're pretty much going to count up all your success points and Hal's success points and compare the two. It also has offers a, a competitive sense that you're always playing against this virtual player that is always building and it makes it very difficult. In fact, I haven't won one single time, so it always provides a challenge whenever I play against Hal. And because of this, I was also inspired to write up a little something for Hal. I title it, My Opponent Hal. The experts are now gone. I am now alone. I have nothing around me except for the resources in my pursuit to build and construct. This was my job before. This is my job now. Except, I'm not alone. Someone else is here. I can feel it. I know it. I have seen it. Every time I turn the corner, I always see his shadow. I yell out to him, but he always runs away. I tried running after him, but it was no use and a waste of my time. I had to go back to building. I've noticed something different. My streets have extended across the fields. My buildings have grown and touched the clouds. Except, I didn't do this. A sheet of paper flapped with the wind and called my attention. I yanked it from the post and it read, Hello, my name is Hal, and I am your opponent. Who was this Hal, and why is he building my city? This is my home. This is my duty. The panic began to ensue, and I knew I had to stop him. But I knew I had to do something. So I began to build. I needed to expand as fast as I could. I had to manage the time between obtaining my resources or constructing. Every time I set out to find resources, Hal would always build. I had to become more efficient. I could see that my resources were diminishing. I was running out of time. I knew I had to claim my districts. But Hal always seemed to change the layout. My supplies were running out. Tick-tock, tick-tock. I had to hurry up. Tick-tock, tick-tock. The race to build is close. 
I wanted to be successful and emerge as the victor. Damn you, Hal. Why must you always be in my way? I'll get you one of these days. All right. Well, thank you so much for listening. And I really hope you enjoyed that. So as always, my name is Annette. You could find me on social media like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube as Netters Plays. I'm also part of the Meeples Included and the Instagamers Network. So thank you so much for listening, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.